In this video, we're going to learn if we need to typecast the return value from malloc in C or not. And the answer is no. We don't need to typecast the return value from malloc in C. Let's talk about why. First, we'll include the stdlib.h library where malloc is defined. Then down here, we'll declare a pointer to an int called data, and we'll assign to this pointer variable the return value of calling malloc with size of int multiplied by five. So malloc is going to return a pointer value where a pointer value is really just a memory address. malloc is going to return the memory address for the block of memory that's been allocated. We'll store that memory address into the pointer variable data, where data is specifically storing a pointer to an int value. So the memory address stored by data should be a memory address where an int value is stored. Now, because malloc is used to allocate space for all different types of data, for example, ints, floats, doubles, and other things, malloc returns a special type of pointer called a void pointer, where a void pointer is basically a generic pointer. It's a pointer that can point to any type of data. Now in C, a void pointer is going to be automatically converted to a pointer to other types of data without any issue. So the void pointer returned by malloc is going to be automatically converted to an int pointer without any issue. So if we save the program and we compile it, it's going to be okay. We don't get any errors here. Now we could optionally typecast the void pointer returned by malloc to a pointer to an int, and that won't cause any compilation issues. So here we could have int pointer to typecast the void pointer returned by malloc to a pointer to an int. And if we save the program, and compile it, that's also okay. There's not going to be any errors. So given that this explicit typecast isn't really necessary, why do we see it? One big reason why we see it is that in C++, it actually is necessary. So here we have the same program in C++, but we're not typecasting the return value of malloc to be a pointer to an int. If we save this program and we try to compile it, as a C++ program, we'll get an error. It says cannot initialize a variable of type in pointer with an R value of type void pointer. And basically the reason why we're getting this error is that C++ has stricter rules around void pointer type conversions. In C++, converting from other types of pointers to a void pointer will be done implicitly, but converting from a void pointer to other types of pointers requires an explicit typecast. So here we have to have a typecast to a pointer to an int. And if we save this program and try it out, now it's going to compile okay. So in C++, it's required. Now, oftentimes we'll see it in C code. And frequently the justification is that it makes the code more portable. So for example, the code could be reused in a C++ program later without modification. Now, the more popular opinion is that we should not include this explicit typecast. The reasons for this that are typically cited are that it's not necessary, that it adds clutter to the code, and that it violates the principle of don't repeat yourself. Because here we have int pointer and int pointer twice. And in coding, we try not to repeat ourselves as a good coding practice. Now, there is more that could be said about this topic. So I'll post a link in the video description to a Stack Overflow discussion on this topic. What I would say though, is that you should follow the coding practices of whatever project you're working on. So if the project does use explicit typecast, you should too. If it doesn't, you shouldn't either. So in this video, we've learned why we don't need to typecast the return value of malloc in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers including courses to help you develop C programming projects.